Hey guys, this is Josh from EJ's Power Block, and I right now I am playing Counter-Strike Source in the map CS Office. This is just like a little collection of some of the kills I gotten, but I'm making this video because of the huge topic, at least from my point of view, PC gaming. Now, oh, you <laughs> son of a bitch. this guy gets pretty mad. Um, now, PC gaming has, if you haven't noticed, for the Machinima directors, are actually getting pretty big. It's kind of weird because I actually ran into a game of gun game with some pretty big uh, machin mach Machinima directors. Uh, if you've heard of Alp Fisher, Trout, the Trout 91, and I don't know if this is real or not, but I'm pretty sure White Boy 7th Street was, it was in the game, which is pretty crazy. Now, you may be asking why are all these Machinima directors going PC now, and I'm I'm making this video to pretty much explain this to you, and I've been playing PC and I find it a lot more enjoyable. Um, now, one huge argument that begins, like when one of my friends who play Xbox, they make an argument saying, oh, PC has worse graphics, or Josh, you play horrible graphics games like Counter-Strike. If you're gonna say a game is only good by its graphics then I don't know what you're talking about because look at the NES look at uh, look at these older systems look how much look at Zelda <laughs> look how much uh, players they have and people still play those old games Counter-Strike Source has a community of I think over a hundred thousand which is pretty crazy and I, if you're a console gamer, you're you're probably just playing for casual, like m maybe you want to be pro like MLG in casual gaming, but I feel if you go PC, you're definitely playing with people who are trying, people who are in for the game. Um, for example, I f I don't know if this is true or not, but in my point of view, Counter Strike scrimming is. A super important thing. I remember when our clan uh, scrimmed a couple years ago. We kind of got rocked, but then again, that's when I was that was when I was younger. <laughs> um, but definitely, if you're playing Counter Strike Source compared to Call of Duty, you're you're in for a more intense game. And uh, the thing about Counter Strike is the guns. Oh my God, the guns in the game have ridiculous recoil. Um, if you just saw, I just got a quick, uh, headshot, and I just got racked. Um, but the guns in Counter-Strike, the recoil is ridiculous compared to, like, Call of Duty. I have my friends saying that Black Ops, Black Ops, has a lot of recoil. And I understand that, uh, Treyarch actually has bumped up the recoil compared to, uh, like, Modern Warfare 2. But, still, compare this game to Black Ops graphics-wise, and it's... I see a huge difference, mainly because this game, recoil is ridiculous. Um, <laughs> see that awesomeness? Um, look at the look at the AK-47 in Counter Strike. That gun's recoil, it, I'm using it right now, is ridiculous. You're either aiming at the head or you're aiming at the low. If you're aiming at the head with this gun, you're not spraying. You're going for little burst fires or one-shot headshot, which you can actually do with the AK in this game. Or you're aiming lower down so the, the recoil can actually bring you up. See how I am um, using the strategy of just, like, shooting pretty slowly? Sometimes I'll be spraying because uh, when I record, I get sometimes a little bit nervous, hope I do good and stuff. And Counter-Strike, I definitely get a little bit more scared while playing and uh in counter strike it's not like your health regenerates like that's ridiculous unless you're playing on a modded server uh you play with 100 health realistic that's a, um uh, let's get back into the pc gaming topic um also if you if you want to go pc and you're a console gamer i'm not telling you to go pc it's just you have to also be aware that the price for pc is a little bit more outrageous like you can buy two to two to three xboxes for one gaming pc average price around pc is about i'd say like 700 or so and a little maybe a little bit more but about 700 
I would, if I'm buying a gaming PC myself, I'll be probably spending around 800 and 900, and that could ruin your pocket of money or wallet. And again, don't don't go PC because I'm telling you. I mean, there are, there are some good games for console. Uh, Crisis 2, I love the Crisis series. Um, then again, I do play that mainly more for PC. <laughs> But, uh, there aren't bad games for consoles, just, I say, don't be playing Call of Duty for console, that, I don't even want to go into how ridiculous unbalanced that is, and Counter-Strike is so much more balanced, you, you could have, let's say you're going, the only gun I would say is not really too balanced in Counter-Strike is the off one-shot kill, but you have to be somewhat good with that gun, uh, definitely if you're a new player, you're not going to be using the op immediately, unless you're amazing. But for a PC, you're normally going to be spending $700 or more, while for console, you're just paying the normal two, like 200 300 People thought the PS3 was expensive, which which it was, but you have to understand you're also getting a Blu-ray and other stuff. Um, also, people complain, uh, what's it called? I already said this about graphics. PC, the fact is that... It actually has higher graphics than other games. We hit higher resolutions. We hit uh, this thing console gamers would not know about, DirectX 11. When that just keeps going up, it just keeps going up. NVIDIA, ATI, which are graphics card companies, and NVIDIA also does some other stuff, uh, are making top-of-the-line stuff that consoles could never do. And... Um, in fact, we actually hit higher frame rates than you guys. Now, when I record, it may seem slow or laggy oh, because fuck. the program I, the program I use, Fraps, makes the game slower and laggier. But still, if you're not uh, using Fraps, you can have a low-end PC and you can be playing Counter-Strike Source. Before I upgraded my PC about a year ago, my Counter-Strike Source was running about... 35 FPS, and that's fine enough for me. Now I hit way higher FPSs, and I love that a lot more. Um, uh, what's it called? Also, if you notice, I mean, I'm just making this video to pretty much just show you guys, to tell you guys why the Machine Learning Directors community is going oh, PC yeah. now. You can see a lot of people buying PC wow. now. Uh, if you've moved. been listening into Bitch. these, uh, their commentaries, CNANner's already bought a PC. Pyro Puncher a while ago when he was getting into Minecraft bought a nice PC. Um, there already are PC. Um, there are very few PC gamers already in the Machinima community. There's S SNDs, uh, Alp Fisher. The Trout 91 is actually getting into PC gaming, which I love. I love seeing all these Machinima directors gain into PC gaming and understanding why it's so big. And I really hope, I, I want to see more people go PC, it's just, I'm afraid that some of these console, you know, no, actually, some of these console gamers may go PC, and most likely they will, if, they're re if they really really want to get dedicated to it, and they want to be good, then I say go for it. I just don't want to see any of these console gamers who play COD, like, 24-7, and talk about graphics. Well, guys, I have to wrap up this video. Um, check out my other videos, my other Counter-Strike videos. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Help me up. Help me out on uh, the Machinima Respawn Army app. Um, my account name is EJ's Power Block. Um, bump up some of my videos. I really need the help. Uh, anyways, thank you guys very much, and see you guys later.